Right, hello. Um, right, this next video is I'm I'm just doing a little roundup of my lead uh, toy finds, if you like. I thought I'd found more than I have actually. I'm, I'm just looking at the table now, just underneath the camera, and I thought I'd found more than this, but I haven't. Um, I'm going to show you what I found in lead toys. Now, some of these are highly collectible. I do know. And I would date all of these at pre-World War One, really, or at least pre-World War Two. These these are old, okay. Everything else I found in these areas, uh, late 1800s, really. Uh, I've even found coins as early as 1600. So I don't know the date on any of these. I don't know anything about them, but I do know lead toy soldiers are collectible. Most of them are damaged, unfortunately, but you expect that with the age. Um, so I'm going to show you a quick roundup, a quick roundup, and then I'm going to do a slideshow of each item or items, and then they're going to be for sale. Um, if anyone's interested in buying them, please let me know. Um, here we go. Okay, well here's the collection. Um, I don't think you're going to see it very well in this video, unfortunately, because the light isn't very good. The sun's on the other side of the house at the moment, but I'll do my best, and you'll see them better in a slideshow I'm going to do at the at the end of the video. But here we go. Um, right, we'll just start with the bits. Okay, we've got four bits of wheels off carts or something like that. Um... That looks like some kind of balustrade off a balcony or a house or something. Just bits. We've got a foot there, painted blue as you can see. Just a lead foot. I have got two or three or four more other items which I have found. But I've sent them out to friends in America and England, so I've not got them now. Um, that might be off a gun, you know, like a... A cannon or something not sure this one's beautiful now you won't see it in this picture no you won't see it in this picture properly you can see the design sort of but you actually got I think it's a wild boar on one of them and a deer or something like that on the other obviously they go together it's all part of a gun handle for a child's toy I presume um, very happy with that. I do like that. I have... Oh, where are you? I have a pig. Lead pig. Yeah, that's okay. I also have a leg. I have two legs. <laughs> and then I have soldiers and I have horses. Uh, I'll start with horses, I think. I've got two, four, six, eight, nine horses here. Now, where I live, Hopper Garden in uh, Berlin, or that's, well, the next village, if you like, um, it's got a race, a race course, a very big race course, and it was actually the biggest sporting venue in Germany back in the late 1800s. Um, so horses are quite common. Now, as you can see, uh, Many of these have men on them without heads. I think three there without oh, four without heads. So many lead horses there. But I do like them. I love horses because I work with race horses. I have a horse, so I do like lead horses. And then you go onto the soldiers. Um, I am guessing these are World War Two. World War One or World War Two because these are proper soldiers with machine guns and things. Um, so I think that's what we've got there. This guy, he's got a gun but it's bent over. It's meant to be on his shoulder but I think that's a bit older. It looks old to me. And these three look very old. Um, oh, I wish this would focus better for you. I'm sorry about this. 
you'll see it in the in the picture slideshow afterwards but you've got one there and these are probably the two oldest this is not lead toy soldiers this is lead toy sailors believe it or not this man has got some kind of horn going up to his to his head and this man has an instrument or something wrapped around his head but you can clearly see from the cap there that's a sailor these guys are sailors and these are old very old so that's the full collection anyway I'm gonna try and give you some good pictures now um, by doing a slideshow so please stick with me and have a look at them So there you have the lead toy soldiers. Um, I do like them. I'd like to keep them. Um, but if anybody wants to make me an offer on them, please do. I've split them up into little groups, as you can see. Um, if you want to make an offer, um, just get in touch on Facebook or on, on YouTube. Just send me a message. On Facebook, my name is Deep Digger Dan. Three words. Uh, and I'll give it a week and I'll let you know if uh, you've had the best bid or not or if I'm willing to sell them for that money right I will see you soon have a good day goodbye